Imagine a king so wealthy that his generous gifts cause a country's economy to collapse. This isn't a fairy tale or a legend, but the true story of a man who ruled an empire so wealthy, it's hard for us to fully comprehend today. This is the story of Mansa Musa, the ruler of the Mali Empire, who was so wealthy that he's often considered the richest person in history. His wealth was so vast that it came from an empire rich in gold and salt, as well as engaging in the ivory and slave trade. His generous gifts and extravagant lifestyle were known far and wide. But who was this man, and how did he acquire such unimaginable wealth, and more importantly, what impact did his reign have on Africa and the world? Join us as we journey back in time, to the 14th century, to the heart of the Mali Empire, to uncover the life of this extraordinary ruler. In the early 14th century, the world was a vastly different place. In West Africa, the Mali Empire was flourishing under the rule of Mansa Musa. When Musa ascended to the throne around 1312, he took control of an empire that largely consisted of the territory of the former Ghana Empire, which Mali had conquered. This vast empire covered modern-day Guinea, Senegal, Mauritania, the Gambia, and Mali, marking the territorial peak of the Mali Empire. Musa's riches were sourced from the significant gold and salt deposits within his empire's borders. The Mali Empire was situated perfectly to control and benefit from the Trans-Saharan trade routes, enabling it to amass wealth from the trade of gold, salt, ivory, and slaves. Mansa Musa, as the ruler, had direct control over these resources, leading to his immense personal wealth. His wealth was so significant that it's been the subject of numerous claims and discussions, with many considering him the wealthiest person in history. However, the true extent of his wealth remains a mystery, as it's challenging to quantify in modern terms. But Mansa Musa was not just about wealth. His reign was marked by expansion, diplomacy, and a deep commitment to his faith, which left an indelible mark on the region. So let's journey back to the time of Mansa Musa and explore his life, his reign, and his enduring legacy. Mansa Musa, or Musa, was born into a world of power and prestige. His personal name, Musa, is the Arabic form of Moses. The title Mansa translates to ruler or king in Mande, the language of the Mali Empire. In oral tradition and the Timbuktu Chronicles, he is known as Kanku Musa, meaning Musa, son of Kanku reflecting the Mande tradition of prefixing one's name with their mother's name. Musa's lineage was also steeped in royalty. His father, Fagaleye, was the son of Abu Bakr, a brother of Sunjata, the first Mansa of the Mali Empire. The exact date of Musa's birth remains unknown, but historical records suggest that he was still a young man when he began his reign in 1312. Most of what we know about Mansa Musa comes from Arabic sources written after his pilgrimage to Mecca. These sources include the writings of Alumari and Ibn Khaldun, who learned about Mansa Musa and his kingdom from officials Musa befriended during his stay in Cairo. Additional information comes from two 17th century manuscripts written in Timbuktu, the Tariq Ibn al-Mukhtar and the Tariq al-Sudan. The oral tradition, as performed by the Jeli or Griots, offers little information about Musa compared to some other parts of the history of Mali. From a young age, Musa was groomed for leadership. His upbringing in the royal court of the Mali Empire prepared him for the responsibilities and challenges he would face as a ruler, but little did he know that his reign would not only transform the Mali Empire, but would also leave an enduring impact on the world. Mansa Musa's reign was a period of significant expansion and prosperity for the Mali Empire. One of the most legendary events during his reign was his pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324. Musa embarked on the Hajj with an enormous entourage, carrying a vast supply of gold. His entourage was said to include thousands of soldiers, heralds dressed in silks bearing gold staffs, countless civilians, and even 80 camels, each carrying up to 300 pounds of gold dust. During his journey, he passed through Cairo, where he spent so much gold that he caused a currency crisis. His generosity was such that the value of gold in Egypt decreased for several years. His pilgrimage and lavish spending garnered the attention of the wider Muslim world, elevating the status of the Mali Empire on the world stage. Under Musa's rule, the Mali Empire expanded, incorporating major cities such as Gao and Timbuktu into its territory. He sought to strengthen ties with the rest of the Muslim world, 
including the Mamluk and Marinid Sultanates. Mansa Musa was passionate about learning and scholarship. He recruited scholars from across the Muslim world, such as the Andalusian poet Abu Ishaq al-Sahili, to travel to Mali. He transformed Timbuktu into a center of Islamic learning, rivaling other prominent educational centers of the time. His reign was associated with numerous construction projects, including part of the Jingwera Ber Mosque in Timbuktu, a testament to his commitment to his faith and education. His efforts in boosting education, culture, and infrastructure in his empire were extraordinary, laying the groundwork for a thriving society. Thus, Mansa Musa's reign marked the zenith of Mali's power and prestige, transforming it into a prominent and influential empire in Africa and the world. Mansa Musa's reign and the Mali Empire's glory have long since passed, but their influence is still felt today. The modern African countries of Guinea, Senegal, Mauritania, the Gambia, and Mali all occupy territories that were once under the control of the Mali Empire. The cultural, economic, and social structures of these regions have been shaped in part by their historical connection to the empire. In Mali, the city of Timbuktu stands as a testament to Mansa Musa's dedication to education and his faith. Although it has faced challenges over the centuries, it remains a symbol of Islamic scholarship. The Jingwereber Mosque, which Musa helped construct, is still standing and serves as a place of worship and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The gold and salt trades, which were crucial to the Mali Empire's wealth, continue to play significant roles in the economies of West Africa. The region still boasts some of the largest gold reserves in the world, a testament to the natural wealth that once contributed to Mansa Musa's legendary fortune. Musa's commitment to education and scholarship has left a lasting legacy in West Africa. The region continues to value education, with numerous universities and institutions dedicated to higher learning. The spirit of intellectual curiosity that Mansa Musa fostered still thrives, Moreover, Mansa Musa and the Mali Empire continue to be sources of pride and cultural identity. Stories of Musa's wealth, his pilgrimage to Mecca, and his commitment to his empire are still told, inspiring new generations and keeping the memory of the Mali Empire alive. As we close this chapter on Mansa Musa and the Mali Empire, we can't help but marvel at the grandeur and influence they once held. From the vast wealth of Mansa Musa to the expansiveness of the Mali Empire, their story is one of power, faith, and cultural richness. Mansa Musa, often considered the richest man in history, was more than just his wealth. He was a visionary leader who expanded his empire, valued education, and sought to strengthen his faith. His legendary Hajj to Mecca was not just a display of his immense wealth, but also a testament to his commitment to his faith. Today, the legacy of Mansa Musa and the Mali Empire lives on. The cities that once thrived under their rule, the cultural traditions that were fostered, and the value placed on education and scholarship continue to shape the societies of West Africa. The echo of their past resonates in the present, influencing modern cultural identity, education, and economic structures. So while the golden age of the Mali Empire may have passed, the memory of Mansa Musa remains vivid and inspiring. His story, like a golden thread, is woven into the rich tapestry of African history, reminding us of a time when an African king was the wealthiest and one of the most influential figures in the world. And that's the incredible story of Mansa Musa, the Golden King of Mali. If you enjoyed this journey through history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the annals of history. Until our next adventure, stay curious and keep exploring the rich tapestry of our past. Thank you.